Yo, what's good, Lock 'em Up Nation? We are back out here with another video. In this video, we are counting down the top 10 worst badges again. Now, I've already done a top 10 worst badges video, but I'll use some of the badges that were on the list, and I was wrong about some of them. So I made a new list, and this time it is accurate. I mean, accurate. Damn it, Agent. A quick disclaimer, not all the badges on this list are bad. Useless does apply as well. So for example, Catch and Shoot and Corner Specialists were on my previous list. Those aren't bad badges. You just don't need them if you can already shoot Catch and Shoot and Corner Specialist shots. That's enough talking. Just make sure you drop a like, comment, and subscribe. On to the list. Number 10. Flexible Release. Coming in at number 10 is Flexible Release. Now right here are clips from my Ugly Jump Shot Challenge. I'll leave the link down below. That was a funny and hilarious video. Check it out after this video. Flexible Release, honestly there's not much to say about it. In my opinion, the only use for this badge is that it helps you not airball. If you put Flexible Release on Hall of Fame and you mistime your shot, you are not airballing like you would if you didn't have Flexible Release. Also, it doesn't help you with full whites, which is what people most commonly miss. So, there's really no point in having this badge unless you want to purposely mistime your shot, which is just stupid as hell. Flexible Release is honestly for people that are really bad at the game and can't get their shots down. But like I said, it's not going to help you make shots. Shots. You just won't airball as much. Now obviously there's going to be statistics that say it helps you make your shots. But at the end of the day, you are going to miss early, late, very early, and very late. Like 90% of the time. Even with this release. I said this release. This badge on Hall of Fame. Number 9. Trapper. This is the only clip I have of a trap play. I try to pass fake and... Bruh. Yeah... Here's the thing with Trapper, if you got a double team on someone, aren't you going to get an animation on them regardless? Aren't they going to throw the ball out of bounds regardless? What exactly is the purpose of this badge? I mean, I guess it's the counter bailout, but the thing is, not many people use bailout. I guess if you're going to play Tyacino, put Trapper on Hall of Fame, but other than that, I don't see a use for this badge, and that's honestly all I gotta say about it. Number 8, Heart Crusher! You know how there's busts in sports, players that have high expectations and they don't live up to the hype? Heart Crusher is one of the biggest busts in badge history. Going into this game, everyone was panicking about Heart Crusher thinking it would be the most overpowered badge in the game. But it turns out to be useless because for one, TakeOver already takes a long time to get. And two, TakeOver is not OP at all. So put two and two together? Heart Crusher is completely useless, you do not even need it. The only way this badge will be useful is if TakeOver was as OP as it was in 2K19, or if it was as easy to get as it was in 2K19, but in this game, it's neither. Heart Crusher, do not use it. Number 7, Pick Dodger. In my last Worst Badges video, I had Pick Dodger number 4. I had people defending screens and defending this badge. You actually don't need Pick Dodger to dodge screens. As long as you don't hold your triggers and you just know to run around the screen, you'll be fine. So regardless of your thoughts on screens, whether or not they're OP, the fact of the matter is, Pick Dodger is useless. Now I do think Pick Dodger should get a buff. I actually think Pick Dodger should help you draw more illegal screen calls, and I think illegal screens should get called more because centers just get away with illegal screens way too much in this game. So if you're pro screens, you're anti screens, can we all just agree that Pick Dodger needs a buff? Number 6! Cross Key Scorer! I've asked people in the past what's the worst badge in the game. Some of them say Cross Key Scorer and I got a lot of slashers on Twitter. They all say that they've put on Cross Key Scorer and no matter what kind of layup or dunk they do, the badge never lights up. Basically meaning that it never works. The description says, boost the shot percentage for layups when moving across the paint. So what exactly does that mean? There are just some badge descriptions that are so poorly explained. Actually, not some, a lot of them. And a lot of other 2K YouTubers are saying the same thing. 2K does a really bad job at describing some of these badges and we have no idea what they mean. 
that or we know what they mean but they don't explain it enough i would get into examples but that's not what this video is about the whole point is cross key score no matter what you do the badge never lights up so the badge basically never works maybe this should be number one number five ice and veins you already know this was on my last top 10 worst badges list. And yes, this is the same footage from my first top 10 worst badges video, but I just don't play rack. I'm just going to bring up the same points and try to move along quickly. Ice and Veins is to boost your percentage of free throws in clutch game situations. But more often than not, in rack and 5v5 per am, it's blowouts. It is actually very rare that a rack or 5v5 per am game is close in the closing moments. Not to mention they hardly ever call fouls in this game, at least shooting fouls. And lastly, there are a lot of badges that don't work in this game, but there are also a lot of badges that do work, and shooting badges, most of the shooting badges are really good and work. So yeah, Ice and Veins, terrible. Number 4, Pump Fake Maestro! This has to be one of the dumbest badges ever added to 2k. Someone said that 2k added badges just to add badges and this badge might actually be proof. Even if this badge actually worked, why would you put this on over other shooting badges that are really good and better than this? Who even pump fakes on this game? Do I really even have to say anything else? If you're enjoying this video, drop a like. You're still here. You're clearly enjoying yourself. Number 3! Ankle Breaker! Another badge that was on my other top 10 worst badges video. This badge doesn't work. You don't need Ankle Breaker to break ankles for one. Two, Ankle Breakers just don't really happen. And three, Space Creator is the real Ankle Breaker badge, which makes no sense. There's absolutely no point in having this badge. Number two, Pass Fake Maestro! I blame power for this badge existing. I'm kidding. I didn't have Pass Fake Maestro this high in my last Top 10 Worst Badges video, but I realized how bad and useless this badge is. It's either your defender is going to fall for the Pass Fake or he's not. You do not need this badge for your defender to fall for Pass Fakes. I don't think having this badge on helps you make the shot. I could be wrong though. All in all, this badge is useless to have and there are plenty of better playmaking badges in spite of the fact there are a lot of playmaking badges that don't work. But I can tell you they are better than this. Before I reveal my top pick, I'm sure you know what it is. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. Make sure you drop a like and subscribe to the channel. Turn on post bell notifications. It's free. It won't cost you a dime. And drop a comment letting me know what your top 10 worst badges are. Or just tell me what you think the worst badge is, Peter. You don't have to list the top 10 if you don't want to. And let me know what other top 10s you want me to do. I got other top 10s and great content for you to check out, so please check them out. Number 1! Unblockable! Remember my little bust analogy earlier? This badge is the biggest bust in 2k history. Every guard was so hyped for this badge when Mike Wang announced it on Twitter. However, this badge was not as advertised. Unpluckable on Hall of Fame is literally exactly the same as not having it on at all. Take it for someone that actually tested it for himself. If you have Hall of Fame Unpluckable, you should not be able to get ripped as you're dribbling. The only way you should lose the ball Hall of Fame Unpluckable is if you literally just dribble into your defender. Then you deserve to lose the ball. Pickpocket steals are just so RNG as it is, and it's a huge bailout for bad defenders. I think pickpocket steals need to be nerfed dramatically, period. There's definitely no reason a guy with 25 steals should be able to rip a guard with 95 ball control and Hall of Fame Unpluckable. It is a joke. Maybe Unpluckable ain't the worst badge in the game, but for me it's the worst badge in the game because, you know, I'm a guard, I'm a little biased. You might think... I don't know, Intimidator's the worst badge, I don't know. But at the end of the day, this is my opinion, so you can't tell me I'm wrong. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you enjoyed, please drop a like, hit that subscribe button, turn on post bell notifications. Like I said earlier, it won't cost you a dime. Remember to drop a comment, let me know your top 10 worst badges, or just tell me the worst badge, period. Or comment, whatever you want. I got plenty of top quality content coming your way, so make sure you hit that subscribe button. Don't miss out. I know I'm repeating myself, but you gotta subscribe to the channel, man. I can't stress it enough.
Until next time, I'm out. Peace.